All right, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. This is the brother to the GMS Valley Camp back at it again. I'm the brother Nakwam. On the brother Gadal. And before we go any further with this Lord with the edifying lesson, we want to give our honor and our glory and our praises to our Heavenly Father and to one of the God of Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rikakwa. And next up, double honors to our elder apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone who still go there in the hollows and hedges and feed us with the 100% truth according to the Bible and who rule well to the best of their ability. And shout out well to the icons out there that's, that's sincerely laboring out of the fear of the Lord, pushing and preaching the 100% truth according to the Bible throughout the whole planet Earth for the elect and only for the elect to the best of their ability. You got it, bro. Yeah. Yep. This is the book of Hebrews. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 11 and verse 6. It says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the most high must believe that he is. And that he... Hebrews 11 and 1. Oh, you said go to verse one. Kind of got you. Yes, yeah, it's, it's kind of like a it's it's kind of a little lag in the streams. Uh, Salaki on that. Yeah, no, you go, you good. Yeah, it's just just the book of Hebrews, chapter eleven and verse one. It says, "Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen." So that's the biblical definition of the word faith. You know, the word uh, substance means to understand, and hope goes into a belief or expectation. So that's the biblical definition of the word faith, and it's a gift that's given to us by Yahweh by Shemal Shah from the Lord, man. You know, faith ain't given to everybody, just like fear ain't given to everybody. You know, we got it, bro. God, this is the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, and verse 6. It says, It says, uh, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the most high must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Now, before I break that down, I'm going to bring this out in the NLT. This is uh, Hebrews 11 and 1 in the NLT. It says, faith is the confidence that, like that what we hope for will actually happen, you know? So we know these things are going to happen. Things are happening now. The pain of America is going to be destroyed. We know that's going to happen through faith, according to the Bible. The, the race wars, class wars, gender wars, political wars, famine, the people wild beast, spirits creative avengers, Jacob's trouble, the MOTB, which you can see here being mandatory to take. We know through faith this is going to happen because the Lord said it was going to happen, right? This is, uh, it, it, it gives us assurance about things we cannot see and this and this is a sure thing we know we will, what we believe in is a sure thing there's no doubt in man the lord is making things happen you know and, and without having that gift of faith it's impossible to please the lord but the lord is going to reward the elect that's diligently seeking him all right and standing so civil for his name man out of fear and sincerity of heart to the best of their ability you got it bro Kind, yep. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter uh, 11 and verse 7. It says, By faith, Noah being warned of the most high of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by the which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness, which is by faith. Right, because Noah was the elect of his time, okay? The Lord's will be a part of the elect with being that same lot. And what did Noah do? A true man of the Lord, okay? He condemned the world. He condemned the uh, wicked society that he was in while he was building the ark of prophesying, man. Same thing we're doing over here in America, man. We're condemning the two thirds with these heathens, okay? That, uh, that, that's, uh, the two thirds are people that's believing in this place. They don't want to repent, don't want to get right. All right, we're telling them that they're going to be destroyed by your how about you shop. No matter what, 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 uh, how pretty they are, no matter how 
bigger street credit is or if you're an actor, entertainer, or celebrity, the Lord don't give a damn about none of that. That was it on that, bro? Time. And it says, the scripture says, no one move with fear, because first and foremost, it begins with fear in your how about your mouth shot. If you don't go, if, you, if the Lord didn't put his spirit upon you to fear him, you ain't going to understand the scripture. You have something else? Time. Yep. This is the book of Rome. Yep. This is the book of Romans, chapter 10, and verse uh, 17. It says, So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of the Most High. Right. How does the Lord speak? The Lord speaks through the men of the Lord, man. All right. You're not going to hear a, a deep voice from the sky telling you to repent, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. No, the Lord's not going to do that. The Lord's going to send his messengers, a.k.a. the prophets, the men of the Lord, and they're going to tell you the do's and the don'ts according to the words of the Lord. Whether you accept the believe it or not, we don't give a damn. You got it. Yeah, yep. This is the book of Ephesians, chapter 2 and verse 8. It says, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of the Most High. And a gift is not given to everybody. A gift is something that's given to a specific person that you uh that you love, man. Okay? If the Lord didn't give you the gift of uh the faith, and he, if he didn't give you the superpower or the spiritual power of fearing Yahweh by Shema Shah, well then the Lord don't want you, man. You're a part of two thirds club and you're gonna be destroyed on this side, man. You're gonna have to come up to the Lord to be elect in the kingdom. But on this side, the Lord hates you, man. Okay? That's thus that the Lord does say the Bible. The scripture says they that fear the Lord is going to hate evil, man. And what are the two-thirds of our people? Evil. What are these heathen nations? Evil. What are what is these heathen mice and so-called white people? Evil, man. And we hate them, according to the Bible. Yeah, that was this, yeah this, this is the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 7. It says, for we walk by faith, not by sight. Like we walk by faith. That's how we walk. You know, they they, they, they try to call us, uh, well, we are faith-based Israelites, but what they try to do is they try to make that into an insult, which calling us faith-based Israelites is the greatest compliment that you can give us because we've read in the scriptures that without, without having the gift of faith, it's impossible to please the Lord. So you're saying we're walking by faith and not by sight. It's a blessing, man. That's, that's, that's the ultimate compliment right there. Man. That's who the Lord is dealing with, man. And those who got the gift of faith is going to be humble. You know what I'm saying? They're going to humble. They're going to first and foremost fear the Lord. And they're going to be obedient to the best of their ability, man. That was it. Time. Let's see. Hold on. I got a destination because it says uh, the gift of, the, the, it's a gift from the Abashima Shah, right? Let's see. Uh, let's see. Bear with me. Bear with me. This is uh, one of the definitions of the word gift. It says something that is given, especially to your, uh, especially to show your affection. See, the Lord's affection is to his elect, to his beloved, man. The house of David, you know? Because Yahweh Shemashah is going to reject and neglect the two thirds of our people, and the Lord's going to, the Lord's going to destroy them, man, for them being unrepentant, for them not fearing the Lord. Family members included. We're just hoping to pray that our households be, you know, just to take the underneath us, Lord's willing, you know. Lord's willing. That was it, bro. I got uh I got Hebrews 10 and 22 for you, my bro. Bible the shot. The, the book of Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 22, it says, Let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith. Mm. Having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. What's that pure water, these scriptures? And what's the body represent? Our minds, man. See, we're getting brainwashed. But brainwashed is a, it's a great word. Or it's a it, it's a righteous word. Like right as I was going to, when you wash something and it's dirty, it makes it clean. And cleanliness is next to godliness, right? Ain't it a sand in the world? So absolutely, we are getting brainwashed. You know, we're being brainwashed and righteous with this blessed word, man. 
instead of being brain filtered or brain stagnant like the two thirds of our people are, man. You know, when you have stagnant water, it's all murky, it's all green. You can't see through it, you can't drink from it, you know. But with uh with, with flowing water, with living water, you can see through it, you can drink it, and you know what I'm saying? It's good for you, you know? It's sound. That was it, my brother. Yeah, I got um and then one of the things that said in that scripture says a full assurance of faith. See, we don't doubt, man. We can't be doubting you how about you how shot. You know, this is a sure thing. This is our plan A. That's it. You know, any 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 letter any any letter after the alphabet, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's 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 just gonna come to naught. It's plan A and play A and O, you know what I'm saying? You got it, bro. Uh see uh damn i got this news article right quick hold on yeah, no, says, okay yeah tiktoker i don't know how to say this dude name jar schneider 31 found deleted in the woods by family after missing after being missing for 10 days keep 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 on playing with yourself man you don't want to fear the Lord. You don't want to have faith in the Lord. Well, guess what? You're gonna be ended up in worse situations than he than he is, man. You know, you got it, bro. Yo, this is the book of Romans, chapter eight, and verse twenty-four says, "For we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why doeth he yet hope for?" Yeah, because you see it already. Why do you need to put uh your trust or what do you got why, why why do you have to um say um pretty much like Lord's willing, you know what I'm saying? When you already see it. You already got it, you know? But when you don't see something, you have the, the confidence and the faith to know that it's gonna uh it's gonna happen for you, you know, or it's gonna or what's gonna happen, you know? And that's us with these scriptures, you know what I'm saying? We we, we see through the prophecies through the spirit of Yahweh Shemash, and we have faith that Lord's will be a part of the elect Lord's will as the Lord is uh bringing judgment throughout the whole center of earth, man. This is Romans 8 and 25. It says, But if we hope for that we see not, then do mm -hmm. we with patience wait for it. And patience goes into suffering. That's what's wrong with guys. They don't want to suffer, they don't want to um they don't want to run that spiritual marathon, they don't want to catch those spiritual blows, man. Which we deserve, by the way, you know. So although we're suffering, we catching hell for the kingdom. We gotta wait for the little y'all shot of return, man. We gotta wait for all hell breaks loose. We gotta wait for Jacob's trouble. You know, to see these people suffering and, and being deleted even more and more. We gotta wait for these things, man. And we gotta suffer patiently and on because we on the Lord's time, you know. But eventually, it will happen. That's that's the key thing. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's just on the Lord's time, man. So there is no if, it's when. And we say that through faith. Kind of, yeah. Cause I, I just cause I brought that scripture out because uh that, that word faith is synonymous with the uh with the word hope as well as the that word trust. Yep. So uh like you said, synonymous, man. It all ties in. Why do y'all about you not shot? Why do you have about your mouth shot? That's all you had? Come on. Right, with that, we put it as less with edify. I'm back to the basics, man. The gift of faith. You can never have enough of it. And so why do you have about your mouth shot? If we have this gift, and Lord's willing, we uh cling on to it. Even if we got to lose our lives for the name of y'all about your mouth shot. It's still a win-win either way. Right, with that, we want to give our honor and our glory and our praises to our Heavenly Father and to our God and Son. Yahweh, and next up, double honors once again to our elder apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone and Shalom to the sincere icon of their labor and pushing, preaching. All right, the 100% truth according to the Bible throughout the whole center earth to the best of their abilities, man. With that, we say Shalom to the elect. Shalom to the elect. Shalom.